Some of you are not going to believe what I did today, but I went and got a brand new comic. And then, of course, good comics. But now this is actually not a brand new comic. It is a shiny version for $8.99 of Flash Comics number one. So it was kind of new. I know. The rest of these, though, are 12 for a dollar. Or 12 for $10. I wish it was 12 for a dollar. Alien Legion, number 20, June 1987. We got Alien Legion, number 6, from August 1988. We got another Alien Legion, number 8. That one's from uh, December 1988. We also got Alien Legion, number 10, from April 1989. And we got... <clears throat> Uh, Alien Legion number 11. No, I thought I said number 11 already. From June of 1989. Now, this is one of the newest comic books I got that's actually new. Um, American Dream, because this is the C... What is it called? The M3 Universe? Something like that. And even though it's not technically during the 90s, I, I don't know. It's American Dream, so it's going to be good. Anima, guest starring Superboy. So, good. I got a crossover issue with Superboy. Aquaman and the Others from the uh, New 52. It looks interesting. So I got a few of these. I have a few other ones. Now here's a really good one. An oldie and a goodie. Arian, Lord of Atlantis, number two. And number four. That's really good. I got Armageddon 2001. And I know I probably have had a thousand of these in the past. This was interesting. This is new. It's called As Guardians of the Galaxy... Not new, new, but you know what I'm saying? Like within the last five years, probably. Because it's got Infinity Wars tie in. I was like, going, ooh, maybe that's why it's as Guardians of the Galaxy, because it's like a, a, a Infinity Warps tie in, maybe. <clears throat> I love Infinity Warps. That was a good series. Not all of them, though, but it was just interesting. We got some more Blue Devil, number 15. And we also got number 19. We also have number 21. 22, Las Vegas Lunacy. We also got number 24. And we got number 25. All right, better not give me lucky charms. And we have number 28. I'm going to switch places with these because now they're getting to be higher than they should be. All right, we got number 29. And we got a Captain Adam, number 51, which does not look like a Captain Adam. This is Pops. He might be more powerful than Captain Adam. He might be po more powerful than anybody. No, nah, no way. Cloak and Dagger. I used to have Cloak and Dagger comics, but I don't remember this at all. This is the Mutant Misadventures cloak of Cloak and Dagger. Hmm. So I don't know. It looks really strange. Dark Stars number six. Look, there's more than one Dark Star now. Dark Stars number seven. Fall from Grace. DN Agents. DN. It's hard to say that. DN Agents. Amber meets the man with the vision. And we got DN Agents. And it's got a free view preview in this issue of New Wave. So these are Eclipse comics. And we got Earth 2, number 9. Falling in a flash. I finally got another Excalibur comic. It's hard for me to get the ones I need for this. I want especially the early stuff. Oops, Earthquake. And we got Excalibur number 103, which is not really the period I care about, but I'm eventually going to get them all. Got to catch them all, Pokemon. We got Fat Albert. Now, before you go, ooh, awesome. It's a little bit, looks like, you know, ratty right here. I don't know what number this is because it's a gold key. There's some kind of magical way to figure it out from the little yellow things at the top. At least that's what I've heard. So, since it's about to fall apart, I don't know if I'll ever open this one. But it's interesting because it's Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. We got Fighting American. We got Fighting American number two. This looks funny. <clears throat> we got Green Lantern, Abansur, and then the Flashpoint. And then Green Lantern, Abansur number three. So I just need number one from that series. Uh, for Forever People. It's Infinity Man and the Forever People number one. This is the New 52. It's a number one, so I can give it a try. Heroes Reborn. So, um, this is number one half. I've read some of the Heroes Reborn. They're not all that great, in my personal opinion. Um, but a number one half, that's interesting. Looks like it's a, more than a half of an issue, though. 
And then we got the, oh, I thought they said Prince of Power. Princess of Power. It says Prince of Power. Huh. The Heroic Age. Prince of Power, not Princess. I thought this was Power Princess. You know, the um, the purple wearing, basically the Wonder Woman of the, the, the Marvel Universe. Limited series number three or four. So I thought, I've read some of the uh, more modern so Squadron Supreme. They're not that bad, and I do like Squadron Supreme. <clears throat> and we have Jim Hadar. No, Jim, son of Saturn. Jim versus the Kular. Are they really that cool? And then we got Jim, son of Saturn, number 11. <clears throat> well, I went a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to be because I thought I'll do half of it this time and half of it next time, but I'll maybe keep on moving. Dr. Midnight, what time is it? This is uh, JLA, or JSA Classified. And then we have Justice, number nine. And then it goes from one extreme to another extreme. I think Justice, one of the last issues, number 19. <clears throat> I found this in the dollar bin. I was completely shocked, and I needed it. Justice League of America, 257. I just got a bunch of Justice League of Americas, and this was not one of them. I'm glad I got it in the dollar bin. Justice Machine by Comica. Enough said. We got Legend of the Shield, number two. We got a Metamorpho Bad Chemistry from 1993. I swear I bought this one just last week. I know I, I felt like I did, but it's not on my CLV app, and I'm going, hmm. All right, New Titans, number 62. I swear I bought that one. All right, <clears throat> The New Warriors. 35. I almost bought another New Warriors that I already had because I really love the Sphinx New Warriors. Uh, number 46. Potty Trainers. I mean, Power Rangers Unlimited. Number one. I know it's not going to be that good, but eh, I'll try it. The Ray. Number two. I wonder if he's related to the line. Uh, he's only half the man line was. All right. Rebels. 94. Number one. I swear I had this one at one time. Oh, well. <clears throat> now, I did read Sky number one, so here's Sky number two, so I can find out what happened. And Sky on number three. And Sky number four. Isn't that awesome? All right. We got, I know I used to have this one back in the day. Secret Origins featuring Legion of Substitute Heroes and Dr. Light. And then we have <clears throat> Spartan X, Jackie Chan. I was like, I gotta try it. <laughs> Introducing the blade, wielding, high kicking, no punch pulling, Kin Zinshi, the Jackie thought he, and Jackie thought he had already had troubles, he already had troubles, whatever. <clears throat> My voice is going. All right, so we got Star Corps, number two, number three, number five, number four. I was about to say, I'm only missing number one. Number four and number six. So I'm missing number one from those. Now you're going to go, wait, you already have this one. I don't have this cover for this one. So this is Stargirl Spring Break Special. Great comic or a modern comic. Great. Now I can't get my fingernails under it. I'll just leave the rest of them down here. <clears throat> we got a Marvel Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I didn't know they did Marvel ones. I got Sun Devils number two. Now I just need number one. I'll have all of those. I think somebody went through there and bought all the number ones thinking... Number one to worth something. <laughs> Whatever. I got Tech War number seven. Tech War number Noive. Tech War 24. And I got Teen Titans from the New 52, which there was two different ones from the New 52. Two different series. God have mercy on people who are trying to collect these without having a clue. Um, anyway, so this one's 2012 and this is 2014. I don't know which one's which. It's so confusing. They, they don't even have a different title. It looks exactly the same. All right. Time Master. The only reason I picked this one up is because you could tell that's definitely Aryan. Time Walker, number one. Totally different. I thought at first, I was like, is this the same person? Nope. Fantastic Four Ultimate. Number 12. Who's Who in the Legion of Superheroes? I got some Wonder Man. Duck, what? <laughs> These are pretty funny, actually. I've had a few of them. Uh, introducing Splice. And we got... He always takes hanging around with uh, Beast. Beast mode. 
And we got Wonder Woman, a Wonder Woman, <laughs> Wonder Man with a woman. And then I didn't have this issue. Oh, yes, I'm trying to get all the X factors from the, at least the 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 original X Men era. I guess that goes up to like number ninety, maybe. And then this one looks pretty interesting. It's the Years of Future Past, number two. It looks like it's based on Days of Future Past, which was like a one or two issue comic um, arc in the original X Men that I really dug back in the day. Which one's your favorite? Comment below. Let me know.